Mom Uncharted used Erin Williams as an example in one of her videos. Mom Uncharted has a large following over on TikTok with over 263,000 followers. Her bio says, Hi, I'm Sarah, exploring generation shared and calling out child exploitation on social media. Honestly, the state of child exploitation across all platforms is completely out of control. And as it relates specifically to family vloggers and influencers, they are literally looking at their own children as paychecks. So true. I haven't watched all of Mom Uncharted's content, but sometimes I come across her videos every now and then. And generally, I agree with her take on child exploitation. I love that she uses her platform to talk about child exploitation to bring attention to this topic because it's such an important topic on social media. Now let's watch the TikTok where she shows Aaron and Nick's uncut app. This is a first. I've never seen family vloggers do this. Maybe others have, but like it's the first time this has come across my radar and I'm sorry. It's just so ridiculous. Yeah, I do believe Erin is one of the first family vloggers, mommy vloggers to create an app like this. I know the Ace family had an app. If you know of any other family vloggers or mommy vloggers or daddy vloggers who have apps where they put content of their kids behind a paywall, let me know in the comments. You created an app you know, exploiting your children on social media wasn't enough for you. You wanted people to have more direct access to you exploiting your children. So you created an app? From what I've seen of Mom Uncharted's content, most of the time she blocks out their name or she'll blur their pictures. She doesn't actually call people out by name that often. I wanted to know why she hides their name and their pictures and things like that. So I went to her comment section and someone asked, why are we blocking the name of this app? These people should absolutely be called out for their nonsense. A viewer responded to avoid giving the wrong people information and protect the children, even when their parents won't. So Mom Uncharted liked that comment, so I'm assuming she agrees with that. I think a good call out using the person's name and picture is necessary sometimes, and she does use names and pictures of people she's talking about sometimes. But in this TikTok, she did not use Aaron's name, nor did she show the name of the app or anything like that. But I always use the person's name and pictures of whoever I'm talking about, because I think it brings more context to whatever I'm talking about. With multiple subscription tiers or just rent individual episodes. And like, it is twofold. One, the parents who think this is okay and appropriate and like this level of exploitation is just beyond. But second, the fact that there's a community that is this invested, that they feel that this is like needed or like wanted by their community, members because parasocial relationships are out of control it's wild to me i wanted to show you proof that this is aaron's app that mom uncharted is referencing so on the right this is a screenshot of aaron's app and on the left i have the prices that mom uncharted just showed let's read some of the comments that were left on mom uncharted's tiktok i just genuinely can't understand why they think strangers have the right to access their kids like this mom uncharted responded in my opinion it is a privilege to have access children when that should only be granted to people parents know and trust not randoms online I 100% agree with this. I do not think strangers online should have access to anything about your child. I don't think kids should be used for content. I remember when the Ace family did that, $70 a month. Who do these people think they are? The Kardashians? Why would anyone ever pay for something like this? Please tell me why. There's a whole app now, like an actual app dedicated to making exclusive content of these kids, huh? How is this legal? I cannot believe people are willingly doing this. Like, what has the world become? Mom Uncharted liked that comment. I'm not a paying member of Aaron and Nick Uncut. I've seen bits and pieces of some of the videos, but I've never seen an entire video. I don't believe I have. So I don't feel like I can give an opinion on Aaron and Nick's uncut content because I haven't seen it. I don't know if she makes exclusive videos of her kids over there. I don't know. But I can share my opinion on the content I do see, which I see all the content on Instagram and YouTube. 
As you can see from what's on the screen right now, she does use her kids in some of the thumbnails. I'm blurring the child's image right here, but the kid is definitely in the thumbnail. The next thumbnail just has Aaron in it and it says overwhelmed. The next thumbnail is a group picture with a lot of kids in it, another group picture with kids in it, and a thumbnail with just Aaron in it. About seven months ago, I made this video and I discussed Aaron's intro. I wanna play a little clip for you here. A lot of viewers have brought up Aaron's intro, so of course I went and checked it out. I agree with them. It's a weird angle and I wouldn't film myself sitting in that position, so I definitely would not film my child sitting in that position. Without being too descriptive here, basically I was talking about Aaron's old intro where I believe an inappropriate shot was in that intro. And after I posted this video, she blurred the image, which is good. I'm glad she did that. Current day, her intro has completely changed. I just watched it. She has one kid in her intro for just a few seconds. And she has another scene where the kids are in the background. You can kind of see they're standing back there, but the focus isn't on them. So in my opinion, her intro has improved drastically. But ultimately, I think she should just take her kids out of the intro. Just completely take them out and just have it be about Nick and Aaron. Welcome back to Aaron and Nick Uncut. So she just said, welcome back to Aaron and Nick Uncut. But this video was posted on YouTube. She posts usually an eight minute video on YouTube, which is part of the Nick and Aaron Uncut video. It's not the full video. And she does an eight or nine minute video because if you do at least an eight minute video on YouTube, you can choose how many ads you put in that video. Two years ago, Erin made an announcement that she would no longer be filming family vlogs and her content would be changing. She would be focusing less on the kids and more on her life. I covered this two years ago. If you want more context about what Erin said about it two years ago, go check out this video next. I'll link it here. In my opinion, Erin uses her kids for content on Instagram. If you look at her Instagram account, she has a highlight bubble for each child. She links products in the highlight bubbles, of course. That's what Erin does. She links a lot of products, but she also has pictures and videos of each kid in their highlight bubble. Here she's filming this child sleeping. But the absolute worst part, in my opinion, is the cheer stuff. She often posts her kids in their cheer outfits, which we know can be revealing. She also posts her kids in compromising positions. That's my opinion. When you're posting content like cheer outfits and dance moves on social media on a public platform, this type of content can and will be viewed in a different light by some viewers. I'm assuming Erin received comments about posting this type of content. This is Erin's response to those comments. PSA, to those of you who have to be an absolute Karen about every breath we take, sports bras and cheer short skirts are the standard practice uniform for all-star cheer. Both of their teams have public Instagrams and post almost daily from practice. I don't feel uncomfortable sharing photos of them from slash during practice or at home in practice attire as they are more covered than they would be in a GD swimsuit. Janet, give it a rest. Erin is highly defensive about this, as you can tell from her response, but... Although that type of outfit is standard for cheer, that doesn't mean it's appropriate for you to post your kids in this outfit on social media as content. I think all of this content, all of these highlight bubbles that focus on her kids need to be taken off Instagram, in my opinion. And just because the cheer studio has an Instagram account where they post daily doesn't mean you have to do it. You know, just because someone does something doesn't mean you have to do it. Also, as a parent, I'm sure you can tell the cheer studio not to post your kid on that Instagram account. And I definitely would. There's predators everywhere and we can't keep our kids locked up in the real world. But our kids don't need to be here. Like they don't need to be posted publicly in these spaces, especially when it has become apparent what is happening to their images and their videos and how people are using their information. Like Exactly, there are predators on social media, on Instagram, on YouTube, and your kids don't have to be on Instagram in their cheer outfit, in their gymnastic outfit. 
That's a choice. You as the parent, you make that choice for your child. It's a choice and you can choose not to post your kids on social media. Erin's not known for covering her kids' faces in any type of content, but she did one day and a viewer asked why. Erin replied, she has a leg up slash the way she's sitting. The TikTok Ren stuff has me disturbed right now. Erin's on social media. She's been on social media for a while. This is her job. She's aware of what's going on and this proves it. And if you're not familiar with the Wren situation, a TikTok mom would film her daughter in compromising positions, for example, eating a pickle, eating a hot dog, and post it on TikTok and use it as content. There's a lot more to the story. I'll link my video here where I covered this if you wanna go check it out next. At one point, Erin said Erin and Nick Uncut was her most lucrative business. So what do you think about Erin and Nick Uncut? Do you think she's using her kids as content? What do you think about Mom Uncharted using Erin's app in her TikTok to discuss child exploitation with family vloggers? Let me know what you think, leave a comment. In my opinion, I do think Erin uses her kids for content on social media. I've given several examples in this video. I don't think Erin focuses on her kids in every video and every moment of her videos, but I do think they're there and she uses them as content sometimes. Kids being used for content and exploited on social media is an important conversation. And I do think we need to talk about it because maybe I'll say something that will change someone's opinion about showing their kids on social media. Maybe you'll say something in my comments that someone will read that will sway their opinion about showing their kids on social media. So I think it's important to have this conversation. So please share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon.